Hi everyone, it's me Tom and welcome to Lisbon, Portugal. This city is beautiful, the weather is beautiful, and right behind me, you have to admit, this train station is beautiful too. We're at Lisboa Rocio Station and today, Lindsay and I are going to take Comboios Portugal, CP, the Portuguese National Railways, for the first time. We're going to take a Lisboa Urbanos commuter service to Sintra. But we can't catch the train before we check out one of Lisbon's colorful sardine shops. This may look like a candy store, but the truth is a little bit fishy. If you love train travel, hit that subscribe button. We upload at least once a week, and this way you won't miss any of our content. You can also join our community on Patreon. Your support gives you access to cool features such as early video releases. And finally, follow us on our social media, Instagram and TikTok. Rocio Station is named after the square it faces, the Rocio Square, and it's actually the most convenient station for the city center of Lisbon. However, only commuter trains stop here, so for long distance trains, you will have to go to Lisboa Santa Apolonia or Lisboa Oriente. Rocio Station was opened in 1891. Just like the trams and metros in Lisbon, the suburban railway uses the Viva Viagem card. So I went to the machine and ordered two return tickets to Sintra, uh, but the machine wouldn't accept my card, so I had to go to the line and then we ended up missing our train. However, they run every 20 minutes, so missing your train is not a problem at all. And if anything, it gives us time to explore this beautiful station. Look, there's artwork on those walls over there. I don't know what kind of numbers those were. But anyways, look over there. There's the artwork I mentioned earlier. Each image depicts one of the trades that Lisbon was famous for. And another fun detail, when you look at the platforms, you'll notice that they're made of the same tiles as all the streets and sidewalks in Lisbon are. The tracks we're traveling on today have been electrified since the 1950s and the train we're about to ride is a CP2300 series. These have been in service since the 1990s. like that door is open. Do you want to go to the front train? Are the seats. The windows are so small on this train. Yeah, I guess these are just your average 30-year-old commuter trains. They're nothing luxurious, and they're showing signs of age, but the seats are comfortable enough for a 40, 
minute ride, and honestly we had nothing to complain about. As soon as the train leaves Rocio Station, it travels through the Rocio Tunnel. This is a three kilometer long tunnel underneath the hill and city of Lisbon. And we emerge to the surface at Campo Lide Station, the neighborhood with the famous aqueduct. This is where you can transfer to other lines of the CP Urban Railway service. The line we're currently traveling on is called the Linha de Sintra. Translated from Portuguese, that means the Line of Sintra. It's 27 kilometers long and links Rocio Station with Sintra Station. Now, for the most part, it is used by CP urban trains going either from Rocio to Sintra or from Lisboa Oriente to Sintra. However, there are a few regional trains that use the tracks up until Agualva Cachem where they merge off onto the Linea du West. These trains don't stop at any intermediate stations on the Linea de Sintra.
de Sintra. That was a great train ride. Obviously not the most comfortable train on earth, but it's a commuter train. And for a commuter train, it was pretty good. We ran completely on time. We left exactly at 101 and we got here exactly at 141. Now we need to figure out where to go before one of the tour guides takes us. They are pushy. The Castle of the Moors and the Pena Palace sit on top of the Sintra Mountains overlooking the town of Sintra. This town has about 377,000 people and there's been civilization here since at least 5000 BC. Now today it's one of the wealthiest cities in Portugal and that's because of its rich history as a city where the royals would come to relax. Even today, the wealthier of our society come to Sintra to party and play. And it's understandable why. This place is beautiful. We are now walking up the hill in Liberty Park and it is beautiful. Do you like Sintra so far? I do. Definitely be prepared to hike. The roads are narrow and quite steep but every single monument is worth it. Gorgeous. Two euros fifty from Lisbon, 40 minutes. Please come here. It, it's worth it. Not only are the tracks from Lisbon to Sintra one of the farthest west tracks in Europe, they're also some of the busiest, as is the highway between the two cities. back to Lisbon, instead of taking a train to Campolide and Rocio, we took a train that after Benefica station enters the Linea de Cintura, or circle line, around Lisbon to Lisboa Oriente, the main station. On this Linea de Cintura, which stops at stations like Seterios and Entrecampos, the CP Urban Services share tracks with the Fertago Services, a private railway company that operates over the bridge south of the Tagus River. In a few moments, we're about to be confronted with the amazing canopy roof of Lisboa Oriente Station, our final stop for today. So this is Lisboa Oriente, widely regarded as one of the 10 most beautiful train stations in the world. I can see why. Sure, the 2300 series trains could use a new layer of paint, but I was honestly pleasantly surprised by the high frequency and good quality service between Lisbon and Sintra. It was 
all in all just a fun train to take. And of course, there's Sintra. I have not been to many places more beautiful than Sintra. It is definitely worth taking a day trip from Lisbon to this gorgeous city. Now, if you're a big fan of these Portuguese train videos, don't worry, there's lots more coming. We're still gonna ride the Porto Metro, we're gonna ride an inner city train from Porto to Lisbon, and we're gonna ride one of Lisbon's most famous funiculars, the Elevador da Gloria. To make sure you don't miss any of these, subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.